One state championship in a school year is an accomplishment. Two is almost unheard of, especially when it's in the same sport. But the Parkland Trojans volleyball teams aren't your ordinary squads. Erica Rose has more. The Parkland Athletic Program is used to being very successful. In the fall, the girls volleyball team captured their second state title in four years. In the spring, just five days ago, the boys joined them on the pedestal. At first, I don't even think we even noticed what we did. But when we came back home and there was the parade and all the kids were waiting, it was it was really a cool experience and it's been the best weekend of our lives. So It's really an amazing experience and to be able to say that our team was a state champion is awesome. The more I talk about it and the more that more people that, that I see recognize and see about it, it's just uh, it starts to set in of, of, of really what just happened. Not only is it the first time in program history, but the Trojans also become the first 3A boys volleyball state champs from District 11. The programs have been getting stronger each year. In fact, six of the girls now have a sibling who has also won a state championship and with both squads returning the majority of their key assets, the volleyball program is starting to become a staple at Parkland. Sets a tone for uh, Parkland volleyball that th we've got good kids and there's good things that can happen here and for younger people, not only the uh, accomplishment, but the kids that did the accomplishment, they're excellent students, they're, they're excellent players and, and they're excellent people. It's really awesome, it gets us out there and it's it lets every other team want to beat us even more, so it'll be extra competitive and it'll be a lot more fun. This is the main goal that every program in the past and through the future will ever have. So, I mean, to be the first ones to do it for the men's program is pretty cool. It adds validity to District 11, um, but especially just for Parkland, just to be to, to add our names to the list of, of the select teams that have won state titles and looking at how many total teams there are um, in, in Parkland that have won state titles and having the last three be volleyball is a really cool thing to, to just to sit back and, and, and see. So The 2014-15 squads will forever be a part of Parkland and being a part of history is something they never dreamt would be a reality. Honestly, no. It's just amazing to think about like going down knowing that we were the first Parkland High School volleyball team to win in girls and boys. It's just an amazing feeling. No. No, I, I, when I got into this, I, I know that I had a great experience in volleyball and what I wanted to do is to try to open doors for other kids to have wonderful opportunities for them and, and who knew where it would take them. And we just want to make sure that they develop really good work skills and, and uh, humility and, and be good teammates and things take care of themselves. Dreaming something like this. It, it's it's just uh, hard to imagine. I was ho I was always hoping. I mean, and I'm sure our team was always hoping that we were going to be able to make history and be the first ones to do it, and we got it done. So to sweeten the pot even more, both teams won states with a perfect 50 and 0 record combined, becoming the first school in the state to go undefeated. That's kind of awesome. I mean, that's not something that a lot of teams do in the state and to be able to do it, it's amazing. Having an undefeated season is just kind of tops it off the cake. I mean, it was unbelievable and I was so proud of everybody. When you reflect on it, that's, that's quite an accomplishment because we've played some really good teams and Scott's played some really good teams and to do it together, it's, it's just incredible. It's just awesome knowing that we both accomplished such a great goal that we set at the beginning of the year, and it's just very exciting. Our whole goal every year is to come out and try to win a state title and, and you know, to, to, to make a, a good run. And, and we've had some teams do that in the past. And um, I said we've had we had really good teams in the, in the mid to the late 90s that made some deep runs and never were able to accomplish it. So to be able to, to, to be the first team to do that and to be part of PNAA history in a sense, for, uh, you know, for the undefeated part is is just um, it's still, that's that part I don't think is, is fully. Uh, I haven't had my mind wrapped around that one yet. Players will come and go, but both coaches agree these two teams are much deserving of this success due to their work ethic and character. On the scene with two PIAA state champions, America Rose, two sports. Here's some more numbers to throw at you. The boys team under Scott Trumbauer the last four years, 77 and 12. That is three conference titles, two district titles, and of course a state championship. Here's Mike Krause's numbers over four years, 96 and two, three district titles, four conference titles, two state championships. Emmaus and Hemfield, the only two teams that beat them, these seniors mm -hmm. in the last four years, amazing. Yeah. And Parkland joins Hemfield as the only other school to accomplish the boys girls mm -hmm. sweep. Wow, what a run that is. Okay, when we